So here we are at the Sawley Recreation Area. So we're about 30 minutes north of Franklin, North Carolina on Fontana Lake, which is about as far west as you can get in North Carolina. Located smack dab in the middle of the Natahala National Forest, the Sawley Recreation Area offers mountain biking, motorized boating, kayaking, canoeing, swimming, horseback riding. We're here for the Sawley Imba Epic, which is a 25 mile butterfly shaped loop on some pretty historic trails. Over the years, this four loop trail system has become quite the destination for horseback riders and mountain bikers alike. And because of that, there's actually a weekly rotation schedule that switches from horseback riding to bike riding. The Sawley Imba Epic is the right and left loop, which is open Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Wait, where does the name Solly come from? Solly, spelled T-S-A-L-I. It comes from a Cherokee Indian chief whose people were forced west by white settlers back in the 1800s. There's a whole placard here talking about the history and backstory uh, behind this area and what happened here. Sali is managed by the Choa District of the Nantahala National Forest, and the trails are managed by Nantahala area Sorba. With that said, there is a $2 per person fee to pay. You can just park. The fee station is actually right there at the entrance to the trails that we're gonna ride today. We do have one bar of service here. You can come over here and scan this QR code and buy your pass online. So either bring your wallet or bring someone that has cash. Camping in this area is pretty straightforward. There is a campground right next to the parking lot. They're open the beginning of April through October and there's 42 sites which are first come first serve. These sites can accommodate small RVs and are perfect for ride in, ride out. If you want to ride all of the 40 some miles of trail here, the only way to do that is to split it up. We're here on Sunday, the right and left loop are open to us. The Mouse Branch and Thompson Trails are open to equestrian riders. And yesterday, Saturday, it was reverse. If you wanna ride all the trails, you gotta do it in a weekend. You can't do it in one day. Are e-bikes allowed here? E-bikes are not allowed here. So the right and left loop that we're gonna to ride today is about 25 miles with 1,700 feet of climbing and it's 98% single track. These trails are nestled in and out of the coves on the shores of Fontana Lake, so there's no major climbs. Just a lot of flowy, fun trail with a few technical sections sprinkled in. I think that about covers it. Let's go do it. Oh yeah, check this out. Bike wash station. Or a shower. They got it all here. Seven and a half miles in, and we're there. Cliff overlook. Cliff overlook loop. Bloop. And then we hit back on County Line Road, the body of the butterfly. And then, then we do the right loop with the windy gap. Overlook, overlook. overlook loop. 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 Overlook. Overlook. Oh, it's windy gap loop. Oh, but there is the windy gap overlook. Look. Loop, loop, loop. Let's say that five times fast. Windy gap overlook loop. Loop. loop, 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 loop. You realize this is where you were earlier, right? Back at the parking lot. Grab some snacks. Do the right loop. Hey, where are them snacks at? Just a sec, I'm just getting poop off me. What are you doing? I may have ridden through poop and it flicked up on me. <laughs> Would you like an oatmeal pumpkin chocolate chip bar? Yes.
All right, so as we make our way into the right loop, we did the left loop in an hour 16, pretty casual. We're 11.1 miles in after that. We've got about 14 more to go. This is just like a little out and back, right? For the overlook. When an option, always opt for the overlook. Why we woo wow? Yeah, so now we're on the stick of the windy loop. Wasn't this like the first time we had to get off? <laughs> Easy does it, Em. And that's it, and that's all, folks. Took Emily and I two hours and 37 minutes for 23.4 miles. One thing I'll note is it did rain last night. You honestly couldn't tell. Soil handled it really well. If it's been pretty dry and it rained the day before you're planning on coming, I wouldn't be too worried about messing up the trails. The Sorba crew has done a really good job with mitigating pooling in spots on the trail. I wanted to point out signage along the way is great. Every like half mile. We never felt like we were lost. That and then when you get to intersections, there's little maps. The trail itself is pretty buffed out. I would call this loop a moderate to beginner trail. The only reason I would call it moderate is just for length. The left loop doesn't have any bailouts. The right loop has two shorter bailouts as well as some extra pop-off loops from that. Let's say you came here and you were staying for the weekend you rode one of the loops, had a catastrophe out on trail, broke something. In Franklin, North Carolina, just south of here, there is the only bike shop in the Natahala National Forest. Coincidentally, it's a Kona bike shop. It's called the Natahala Bicycle Club. Don't be too upset if things go wrong. They've probably got some stuff to sort you out. We both rode 120, 120 bikes. You could easily get away with a traditional 100 mil XC bike here or a hardtail. It's pretty fast and flowy. Average speed, fairly high, not a ton of climbing, so very flowy trails. I'd definitely come back. Views of the lake the whole time. Super pretty. Super pretty with the mountains in the background. If you're ever in way western North Carolina, don't hesitate to swing by Solly.